Please be raining tomorrow. Shoot. Fortune teller says, Spirits are good. Living off the land says, Summer's here, along with a whole slew of new crops to plant. Take hops, for example. The vines take a while to grow. But once they mature, they can be harvested every day. Good luck. You see, that little bit of preparation saved just a bunch of uh, watering. There's like hardly anything we have to water on this plot. Junimo, mine, mine, mine. <laughs> Okay, so we have 19 sprinklers. 19 times by 8 is 152. So I'm quite happy to double that if I've got the money to. Because we know we, we can like manually water 140 crops and still do fine for the rest of the day. So I'm I'm still going for like um f uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm still going for what what the hell was I going? I'm still going for like 300 crops. 152 or 304? Wait, is it 304? 19 sprinklers times by eight crops. 152, isn't it? Yeah. Unless I messed up the math in my head. So I could double that. Yeah, yeah, okay, so so my thought process was last season we were able to ma why am I doing this one by one? Last season we were able to manually water about 140 crops. So if we've got 152 that are being watered by Who's that Pokemon? by sprinklers. Generation 4, ladies and gentlemen. I recognize it, but... Not quite sure. Yeah, if, if, so if we've got 152 crops that are being watered by sprinklers, I can set the same thing up but double it. Um, and water that manually while we collect sprinklers for it. That's That's the plan, I think. Oh no, dragon! <laughs> oh dear. I want to say it's Rampados, but I'm not sure. Beginning to think Bergy is the best strat. Bergy, Bergy just waits because Bergy's normally right. That's the thing. Riperia. Oh! Oh! Magmortar. Mm -hmm. Alright chat, let's go see how much money we can get. Go on, Bergy. What'd you say? What says you? Oh, we got foraging we need to do. Riperia indeed. Good afternoon, Empala. Riperia. Well done. I think it's a Pokemon. Lavender, you're also correct. Well done. Six gold ores. Uh, sure. Give it a go. <laughs> Hello, dragon. Welcome back. Uh, right. If I get 300 blueberry seeds, that's going to be 200... Uh, that's going to be 24,000. That's not going to leave a, a lot of melons. I'm going to do it anyway. 300 bloobs. Incoming. And yes, Empala, the farm is coming along very well. Get the ones required for the summer bundle. Ah, where's the fun in that? No, that's a good idea, Lav. I might do that. Alright, what is required for the summer bundle? 
tomatoes, and I think we need corn at some point. The quality crops bundle, but not necessarily. Uh, tomato, pepper, and melons. Easy. Tomato, pepper, and how many melons do we have? We've got room for like 40-ish melons. Um, I want to get like multiples of eight. I want to get, I think I want to get like 32 melons, maybe 36. 36 sounds good. That's six sprinklers worth. Wait, how many do we have? How many melon seeds do you get as a reward from the community center? Do you get eight? Nine? Nine melon? Why nine? You are correct, Neo. That would be 32 plus four. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh dear. Really testing my memory here today, huh? Or my math brain. So I can do 19 times by eight, like that, but I can't say that 36 is divisible by eight. Marty, get out of the way. It's a lot of blueberries. We'll be able to plant these really easily, watering them. We don't have to really worry about that because they're already mostly watered themselves. Um, let me quickly look up the growth calendar of blueberries. We have a two day, two day wiggle room, which is fine by me. Uh, what about melons? Fruit crop. M -m -m melons. Melons, we have three days and we get two crops. Okay. That's fine. Because it never evens out one sprinkle, it annoys me. Wait, what do you mean? Never evens out a sprinkle. Where are my, where are my seeds? I put them. Okay. Oh, little woodpecker guy. Hi. How's it going? So I'm going to get four more melon crops. You get nine seeds, not eight. It's one more seed that can fit around the sprinklers. Right. Gotcha. Maybe they don't plan for you to have sprinklers at that point. I don't know. And then the rest of the money, I'm just going to spend on blueberries. 313 blueberries. 40 melons. Tomato and, and red pepper. Thank you for the follow. Also flowers. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to wait until my first harvest of blueberries. Maybe first harvest of melons. I don't know. And then I'm going to buy the flowers with that. Yo, what's up, Moxie Poxy? Could be lurking and enjoying the Stardew stream. Well, I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for the look. Appreciate it. Are my chickens grown up yet? Are they giving me eggs? So, I'm not too fussed about getting all the crops down immediately. Uh, we've got time to prepare the rest of the field. We've got like two days. One day for melon, one day for the rest of the crops. Um, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> Panic. Keep that back. So over here we're going to grow the... Actually, I think I'm going to have the melons go along the top. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. Just trim this back a little bit. 
So remember, we're going to plan for having sprinklers here, so we don't have the gold for it yet, but we will do. So we'll do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. The aim of the game here is money. So melons are going to be a nice substitute for, um, for just blueberries, because uh, we can turn the melon into wine, and melon wine is going to be very nice um, before we can turn... I think I took a look at all of the crops available in fall, and really the only one turning into wine was actually pumpkins, pumpkin juice. You actually get a big profit boost from pumpkins if, if you turn it into juice. So that's going to be the main goal. It's not going to be cranberries. I'm going to grow some cranberries for the community center. Um, but I'm actually not going to be growing a bunch of cranberries next season. I'm going to be, be growing um, as much pumpkins as I can. Because by that point, I'd like to have a good stockpile of kegs ready to rock and roll. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate the followings. Uh, he'll notice eventually. Wait, what? Mr. Spot, thank you. Yep, I see it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. You guys are my eyes and ears. Mostly eyes. That you can really be my ears. At least that's the theory anyway, when it comes to the, what I just said about um, full. Really, it depends on how much, uh... It just depends on how much... Uh, kegs I've got ready for the season. Yeah, I am hyper-focusing. It's, it's a lot to try and do in, in the beginning of a season. It's getting... 350-ish crops down and watered. Again, watering them isn't massively necessary, but it'd be nice to get that jump start on them. Yeah, day one is stressful. Mm -hmm. And even more stressful when you're trying to do this stupid playthrough. <laughs> or this stupid challenge. Oops. Well, don't want to mess that bit up. So we're leaving spots for sprinklers. And hopefully as we go through summer, we farm as much gold as possible, and the rest of the stuff that we need. We'll be able to, uh, to fill this all in. Thousand percent understand, me and my friends just got through summer. Now on to fall. Hey, fall is like, probably the most profitable season as a farmer. You know, you've got all that pumpkin and cranberries. Dude, I'd love to play some multiplayer Stardew sometime, I think. Just in my, my free time. Just chilling with a couple people. I haven't done that for a long time. Yeah, pumpkins for days. Pumpkins are great as well for, uh, for gifting. There's a lot of people, uh, off the top of my head. Uh, Abigail, Emily, not Emily. Abigail, Krobus, Willie. I think one other person all love pumpkins as gifts. It's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. I remember when that show used to be good. Maybe it had been about eight years ago. It's profitable because it's post blueberry and it's the third season of the game. By that time you reach on a new save, you pre sent money. Um, I guess for like an experienced player, yes, maybe. Um, for a new player, maybe not. So yeah, I think a, a lot of people that have played through at least one year of Stardew before know to prepare themselves for like a good haul in uh, in full. 
All right, how many more crops have we got to plant? 98. Well, 100, technically. Okay, let's just set up another field down here for the bloobs. Did I miss a spot again? Lowest row? Oh my goodness, you guys are legends. <laughs> that was a test. You passed. Well done. Well done. Uh, DBD? Oh, what? never mind. Lavender spotted it first, actually. But well done, DBD and Lav. You passed the test. No one else did. Come on, everybody. Get on DBD and Lav's level. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. <laughs> Alright. Probably get these planted and watered just in time. Oh man, what have I let myself in for? At least once these are down, I'll be able to count, like, how many more sprinklers I need. Which is at least 13 plus 4 at the moment. 17. <laughs> that was only... Th okay, that was... Yeah, that was 32 crops. So we've got to do two more rows of that. Probably not going to get them all watered in time. Podcast mode? That's okay, CC. Got cat in lap? Attempting not to spook. That's fair. Common cat thing. That is very fair. Uh, pets take priority. I understand. I might get the last of the blueberries down in time. But I'm not very hopeful. I know I'm feeling exhausted. It's a lot to do! Gain some tea and decide if I'll play some Stardew or not. Go for it, Lav. Enjoy your tea. Someone help me water? Yeah, no, multiplayer's fun. I've played multiplayer a couple of times, but... Um, it's got its drawbacks, like the clock constantly ticking when you're doing something, like you're in a cutscene, or one of your friends is in a cutscene, for example. Also, if you're playing with a group of people, you kind of have to all be around to play at the same time. Because it's a little bit unfair otherwise to advance the farm without them. Now, good luck spotting if I miss any tiles when I plant this time. Ladies and germs. Am I going to get them watered in time? Yeah, I've got time. Might run out of energy, though. <clears throat> it's like when people up pass out. It's bedtime. <laughs> Turn that contrast up to 11. Nah. I don't want to mess with, like, contrast settings for stream. I'll be able to see. Wait, what does the... Glowstone ring take? Solar essences and, f and iron bars. But a little bit more iron bars, I'd consider it. Uh, so this is... This is eight sprinklers, which is 64 crops, and we got 65. I see how it is. I'm gonna... Plant them... F well, actually, we know it's 64 crops, so we'll have one left over, right? Gonna plant them first, because again, it doesn't matter if they're not watered today. We can have them offset by a day. I'll be fine with that. I'll probably delay the first harvest, if that's the case, but I think we should be able to get these watered. Yeah, I don't see why not. Oops. Yeah, year one summer. Yeah, still in the first year. Oh, I guess I should change my title, shouldn't I? Uh, summer, year one. Ta-da! Alright, we've got two hours to water these. Dude, this is, uh... This is kind of nutty. Honestly, the fact that we... We had the sprinklers down... And we had crops still planted on those tiles. 
has saved us so much time and energy today. That got us off to a pretty good start. I am feeling comfortable with the progress we've made. Very comfortable. I'm going to save this one blueberry plant. Uh, and for the other two here, I'm just going to pop them up by these two crops. Like so. Ho ho ho, chat. We smashed it. Uh, I think my longest is maybe five years? I didn't plant the... We can plant that, that's fine, we've got time. The thing is for me, I've said this like a couple times before, I need like a, a goal or a reason to carry on playing. So a lot of my playthroughs typically end after completing the, the save, like perfection or or getting all of the achievements before perfection was a thing. So I don't usually play beyond that. I just don't see a point to it. It's like, what what do I do? Do I decorate? Yes. Well, after I've decorated, what happens then? I'm just constantly earning money for no reason. How little delay there was between the title change and the VOD. Maybe Twitch is getting its ish together. Chat, it's time for the best song in the game. The sun can bend an orange sky. <sighs> we forgot scarecrows down here. We got lucky. Look. All right, low key though. Low key. Who would watch a stream that was more like this? Loki, this is like the only game that I would consider watching a no cam, no commentary stream. Bright Spark, thank you very much for the 13 month free sub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for your continued support. What came after the dinosaur? His tail Dazza this is fine Dazza this is fine Dazza this is fine Dazza this is fine. Thank you Sparky, hope you're doing well, hope you're having a good day. I think I would, I would need some talking. I think Stardew Valley is one of the only games that I would maybe consider watching a stream like that. Prefer the interaction with the streamer? True, very true, that is like a big part of Twitch. Um, I think for me is, I was talking about it earlier, there's very few streams that I actually interact with, because I'm a bit of a... Takes me a while to get comfortable in places, being my true self. <laughs> so it's very few streams where I'll actually talk and engage. Um, so I think that maybe that's why I would consider watching streams like that. Watch a lot of no cam streams? Yeah, I, I don't think cameras necessarily uh, make it or break it for streamers. Um, I feel like there's a lot of no cam streamers out there that feel it necessary to, weirdly enough, berate viewers for only watching people that have cameras. I just feel like with, with a webcam, there's more of a connection. Because we're connected. Iron Man 3 quote. Uh, what did I miss? One minute to go. Nice. Logging off the boarding machine. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, winter songs are great. How are you doing, Sleeper? Hope you're well, and say, same as well, well, Kayla. Hello, how are you doing? Has there ever been a, a no scarecrow run? I don't know, maybe. I could live with this stream. 
Not for me, I may as well have soundtrack on. Fair, fair. I, I, there's, that's true, actually. A lot of people um, watch in radio mode. So they're not exactly watching, but they're rather listening. Several YouTube videos queued up for the very thing. Prefer the interaction because I can then ask and understand why the person is playing what they're doing. Whether you engage with us and make us feel part of the stream. Ah, thank you, Delaray. VTubing is a big help for those who don't want to show their face. I still do not understand VTubing. <laughs> I think it's one of those things that's just lost on me. I find it kind of pointless. I really do. Um, again, not to throw shade on any VTubers out there. It's just one of those things that I don't quite comprehend as a style of streaming. The only time I think I've seen a VTube stream and it made sense is when that person is like playing a character that they are portraying through like their VTuber model. Dozed off again. Welcome back, Raman. I don't know how long it's been, uh, but we're now in summer and we have about 350 crops, mostly bloobs, but a couple of melons. That's fair, Kelly, that's fair. I don't think it really creeps me out. I just kind of, I, I find it kind of pointless. People don't want to buy a webcam or they don't feel comfortable enough to show themselves on webcam, which is fair. But then putting like a, a PNG or a, or a VTuber model on there instead, I, I don't think that has just the same value as a webcam. Or you might as well just not have a webcam on. That's just my opinion though. And again, not to belittle anyone that is a VTuber or anything like that, because we're all different. Um... It's just like there's there's only one time I've seen a VTuber and it made sense. It's when this person was role playing as the character they were VTubing. And he was pretty cool. It was pretty funny. Depends how I felt the day. Yeah, there's been a couple of times where I've felt a bit trashy. Well not trashy, hold on. I felt a little bit like trash, so I've turned the camera off. Been a couple of times. I also have a cat cam that I turn on whenever my cat sleeps in the window. I mean, pet cam, that's a completely different thing. That, like, you're winning at streaming if you're using a pet cam. <laughs> Alright, earth crystal, that. Uh, I already forgot what else we need, so I'm just going to take a random... Ah, there we go. Bunch of random junk. Okay, we have our mayo machine. Because I believe our chickens are old enough and are producing eggs for us now. Hello, chickies! Beautiful! I don't want to eat the egg. Time for some noms. Enjoy your dinner, Bergie. Enjoy. There's a voice on, but now got themselves a VTube thing. Oh, and it's ruined. Really, Sparky? Damn. That's unfortunate. I'm going to sell these other eggs. Okay. It takes a long time for us to water these crops, so we've got to get cracking on sprinklers. We really have to get cracking on sprinklers. Which is just gold. We need more gold. And we've got to be careful of our energy as well. Have I even got time to go mining today? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've been doing like 12 hours of mining. This is fine. Norwegian fish soup with algae. Ooh, interesting. I guess I should also be picking up stuff for uh, the foraging bundles. How's Haley coming along? So we danced with her at the flower dance, ooh la la, and we've ignored her and ghosted her ever since. <laughs> Get a lot of glare on my screen. Can you like have the blinds half down? then it won't get in the way of the cat, but then it might still provide enough light to, to light up the cat, but not glare your screen. Moving on. Grapes are fun. <laughs> we set up uh, a chat can interact with their avatar, which is kind of cool. Yeah, like, that. again, the one that I saw had this, like, you know, it was an expressive model. It wasn't just a, a PNG, like, avatar that bopped up and down every time they spoke. I feel like that's just... I, I, I don't know. I feel like at that point, it's not adding anything to the stream. It's just something that's there to 
just kind of get in the way. But I guess you could say that my face is getting in the way. Not adding anything to the stream. That's fair, Ika. That's fair. I don't think there's anyone that I've watched that has become a VTuber stream. Um, and I don't know if I... Is there anyone that I follow that is a no-cam streamer? There's a couple that occasionally turn their cameras off, but again, I'm there for their personality. Yeah, I just... Again, I just find it hard to make that connection without some sort of facial expression. I adore your face. Thank you, Rachie. You're gonna make me blush. Welcome back, Cece. Penny clip would not be the same without your upward face tilt. The penny clip. Which one's the penny clip? <laughs> I like your face, Tazza. It makes me content to know who's speaking. Yeah, and I think, again, it, it, it's definitely a very personal thing. Be it the streamer that wants to use a webcam or not, or a viewer that likes to watch people with a face or not. It's definitely a personal thing. And again, there is no right and wrong answer. There are incredibly successful streamers that do not use face cams, or PNG tubers, or VTubers. You know, there's something out there for everyone. It's just personal preference. And like I said, I don't want to try and berate anyone or belittle them for not using a webcam, because at the end of the day, what should my opinion really count for? <laughs> I'm just a guy at the end of the day. Put my family on camera because our gaming computer's in the living room where we can all watch over a kid. That makes a lot of sense. Wouldn't mind being no cam? Go for it. Again, I know lots of people that stream. And again, I think it also depends on why you want to stream. Because I, I was about to say, I know a lot of successful streamers that stream without a cam. Some people don't even care about being a successful, you know, quote unquote, successful streamer. Some people just want to stream for fun. Go for it. Can I make that PNG? Fair. Oh, they're my greatest treasure. True. True. <laughs> Very true. That was a great clip. I was checking if I had any bombs, but I do not. Alright, I'm now just counting in gold bars. Like, every time we get gold, I'm taking a look at the bottom, and I'm like, yes! That's two more sprinklers. <laughs> how, Chad, how many more sprinklers do we need? 16 minus 3 plus 4, 17. Which is... A lot of gold. 85 gold. That's actually not that much. Is that, did I get that right? 85 gold? Waiting patiently for the Marini clip. The 18th, Whitney. The 18th. I wish I had like a way of showing it on stream, but I haven't got that set up. Otherwise, I would show you. It's honestly not that impressive. I'll be honest. It was fine. I just found it funny. It's just like, as, as I'm doing more and more of the shorts, I'm just getting more and more used to um, different ways of maybe presenting them. Oh, no, not infested floor. That means a no gold floor. I don't know, I'd be stressed enough to try and entertain three people that might watch me stream and add more to trying to remember not to pick my nose. Ah, oh, that's the worst part. Like, when you just want to go digging for gold and you can't because you know that there's people watching. That's... One day it'll become socially acceptable, Rachie. Until then, we just have to, you know, do it in private. But also, um, the... I think the biggest point that, again, it's, it's a, a thing that I try and say, like, if anyone ever comes to me for streaming advice, um, I always say just go for it and just do it, because at the beginning, you're not going to have people watching you anyway. So, you don't have to get used to entertaining three people, because for the first month or two, you're probably not going to have anyone in your chat. So it's just going to be a case of more, more entertaining yourself, 
Um, and then if someone comes in, they're just a conversation point. Uh. <laughs> and at that point, you just kind of get used to, I guess, entertaining. You develop your own entertainment style. Whether you just act like a complete idiot half the time and pretend you're a really good gamer. Or you just chill out. Leash! Hello, Leash. How you doing? I feel like I haven't seen you for a for a hot minute. I hope you've been well. Like yeah, I've not seen you in the in the Twitch space and on the lives. <gasps> Level 110. We got space boots. My night twitch community likes my voice. Your night twitch community. And my mother. <laughs> oh dear. Do very good, sir. Been busy with preparation for the new year. Took a week off at the start of the year, settled back into work, but we're back now. How you been? I've been good. Well, actually, I've been terrible. That's a complete lie. I've been absolutely atrocious. Um. <laughs> I got sick like two days after Christmas and I basically stayed in bed for like a week and a half. Um, this weekend just gone was my, my like return to stream. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of, lot of bad internet, well, bad internet, a lot of bad winter bugs going around, I think. I was like, I've been good. That's a lie. I've been terrible. Not the lie to start the new years. Yeah, but I'm feeling way better now. Every now and then, like, I think my throat is still recovering. Like, it's not sore or anything, but I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like if you've been outside in the cold for a long time and you take a really long breath out and it, it makes you start coughing because of, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like that. So a lot of Twitch talking has been, oh, there's a staircase over there. You dumb dumb. Never tell you if I streamed. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely fine. I don't think Leash told me that she streamed. I think it just popped up on my recommended one day and I was like, hang on a second. Hello? He did not tell me this was a thing. By the way, everybody, Leash streams. Go, go click on the follow button or else. That's right. Completely different content to this. Actually, I don't know what. Last I remember seeing you streaming was FIFA. And obviously, I'm a FIFA expert. I know lots about footballs uh, and the goalposts and the offside rule. I know it all. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, Leash. I know. <laughs> yeah. All right, how much gold we got now? 25. That's five more sprinklers. I've been good. Daz's pants combust. Why would- oh, cause liar liar, pants on fire. Gotcha. Persona 5 Royale and Uncharted 4. Ooh. I've never played any Uncharted game or Persona game, actually. I'm just a fake gamer. I just play Animal Crossing and be like, ha ha ha, I'm a real gamer. It's, it's a lie. I'm not really a gamer. Alright, are we going to make it to floor 120? No. We've got two hours left. we got a decent chunk of gold, though. This is good. Five extra sprinklers in the morning. If we can get five sprinklers a day, that's good progress. I'll take that. The gamer who somehow ma uh, makes the chill game still fun to watch? Some people like the chill. What can I say? <laughs> Thank you, Leash. Are you a real gamer if you've played Resident Evil? Um, I think so. Dazzle wears Maya Lewis's shorts. Um, where did that come from? No? My in-game character is currently wearing denim, and I'm currently wearing pajama pants. Because they're warm and comfortable. Oh, I completely forgot that we had the bus stop. I definitely walked to the mine today, didn't I? I didn't take the bus stop. 
Ooh, mayonnaise. Inventory full. That's not fun. Pull that away, get that back out. Uh, right, do we need mayonnaise for anything? No, we don't need to donate mayonnaise? Interesting. Welcome back, Lav! No pants are best pants. Yeah, but on the occasion that I have to stand up for something while streaming, uh, I'd probably forget and then get banned. So I don't want to don't want to chance it, you know. Save that for the for the weekends. <laughs> sounds Sounds like you need the gaming chair with a toilet attachment. <laughs> God damn it, Ramen. All right, we need to save the red mushroom. Uh, and we need to save a ruby. Ruby, 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 ruby! Oh, and the topaz, apparently. Everything else we can sell. Yeah, we sell the diamond. We need the money. All right, a good second day of summer. I will take that. Hello, Okami, how are you? Oh, ah, I was waiting for someone. Someone had to finish it. Thank you, Bright Spark. <laughs> Level five combat. Critical strike chance increased by 50%. I actually don't know which one's better. I'm going to go for that one. Jades are good for staircases later on, but for now, again, lab, we just need money. Um, 200 gold. Eh. At this point, I think 200 gold is, is worth stocking up on. <laughs> 